welcome to a come thrift with me this is from back home when i was in canada over the winter break hence the weather i was so excited to get back into thrifting because it had been so long all right it looks like there's literally nobody at this valley village because i think there's like a storm coming um so i'm excited like i was saying it was the middle of a snowstorm so i didn't really know what to expect luckily the store was pretty empty which is how i like it i get anxiety when I, whenever i see like resellers or girls my age anyway first thing i picked up was this really questionable windbreaker i don't really know why it's kind of reminding me of my ex um i also picked up this nike windbreaker which i thought was cool but not cool enough i was admiring my bag and then realized i should probably zip it up because i know that some people steal bags if you leave them in your cart and that's something i would do not steal but leave my bag unattended in my cart while i go dig in some bin then i came across this really cool white large like kanye west style puffer jacket and i didn't have one like this and i've been really into them lately and then i found this fur lined trench i love a good trench i'm always on the hunt for the perfect one i was looking in the leather jackets this is one of my favorite places to look because they always have such good leather pieces in canada i don't know why this daniel one was really expensive this chaps one was even more expensive but i think i ended up getting one of them i also checked out the jerseys found this um adidas yellow gold kind of one but it wasn't anything crazy they're kind of overwhelming to go through and then I wanted to show you guys this because it just reminded me of something I would buy when I was in high school and thrift. And I just thought that was so funny, but obviously not getting. I found these jeans, too, that um, had no idea if they were going to fit, but I just like liked the wash and they were good quality. And they also seemed long. I don't really know how much were they. $12. That's not bad, I don't think found some sweatpants i feel like i'm like talking a mile a minute i edited this way too fast um but i was like kind of imagining like low-waisted i just love sweatpants especially a straight leg with some stripes um these adidas track pants more for reselling purposes i already have so many adidas track pants but you guys can kind of find these anywhere found this skirt really nothing special looked at the coats coats were everything keep in mind this was like peak winter so this coat was oh, a fail it was very glamorous a little too glamorous for me but i thought i'd show you guys this one was also cool i was kind of just attracted to anything with like a fur collar oh my god and then i found this one this one i think i ended up buying i know i bought i don't know why i'm saying i think it was pretty expensive but it was danier leather and the fur coat the fur collar was like in great condition it had a little stain at the bottom which you'll see when i try it on but she's stunning then i went over to the bag section and i found this purse that i'm actually really regretting not getting i kind of vividly remember thinking oh it's kind of mid but now that i'm looking at it it's so cute i love the metallic and all the hardware and it also has like cargo pockets kind of reminds me of the Mew Mew bag that just came out oh my god my voice cracking <laughs> um that bag was pretty mid went to the shoe section they had tons of boots of course i'm into the wedge right now buckles all that sort these ones had oh no not these um those were like cowboy boots these ones had so many buckles and i loved the like fold over look they had but obviously not the heel none of them were like calling my name i also like didn't want to trek and like carry boots back home to new york with me so i was only gonna get them if i like really loved them these ones are cool i love the lace-up look anyway they always have a ton of boots I found these little loafers. I liked that they had a heel. I don't really have anything like them, so I picked them up. Sperry's were giving me uh, flashbacks and scaries to high school. Not even high school, middle school. Oh my god, these wedged sandals were everything. I really regret not getting them. I love the jewels. Then I found these like sporty little flats, and they're pretty disgusting, but also like really good at the same time. I ended up getting them. They just remind me of like the sporty ballerina flats that everyone's obsessed with right now. Went to the lingerie section. This used to be my favorite section. I don't know why. 
I guess like lingerie tops were very in. I was at this point very disappointed in what I was finding. These tops were really not it. I don't even know why I filmed this. I don't even know what these are. I would never wear these colors. Um, I found this top, which I really like to wear like over pants. It's from this brand Seduction, which I fucking love. Um, it had some bejeweled. I loved the print. I loved everything about this top. But I was really imagining this like over pants vibe. And then after that, there's a bunch of really questionable tops that I think I just wanted to like show you guys stuff. So I picked out, but this one is just not, it, it looks like it would fit horribly and the pattern's pretty weird. And this one, I like the shape of the top, but like the happy f leaf graphic, I don't know. This one was like a lace print from Ralph Lauren. It's okay. This one I liked, I've been really into like sweater shirt dresses um so i liked that gray one and then this one was like a little cropped cardigan moment which also was cute and the brown was cute so yeah and then i kept looking honestly guys thrifting has gotten so much worse i remember when i lived in montreal and everything was just fire on fire on fire and now everyone thrifts which is a good thing but you gotta hunt now Anyway, I found some more pieces. This leopard print lace mesh moment was like cool in theory, but I feel like I it's a lot going on. But I, I don't know. I should want to show you guys anyway. And then I also found this one. Cool print, like very 90s vibes. But again, the colors were just like you know not screaming my name like i just wasn't obsessed and then this one too i picked up because i have i thrifted a shirt in canada years ago with this same print but like different colors this top i don't even know what it says i just got it because the tag was so cute it says hot lips on it and it's oh no it doesn't it says big flirt i'm capping anyway the cute tag was really cute and then this roots little washed out like it looks so like i don't know worn which i like <laughs> but it was too expensive and i didn't need it and then this esprit pink zip up was also really cute okay clearly i kept thinking about this roots jacket the esprit zip up oh my god <laughs> zip up was really cute and then there's this like pinstripe classic like button down little top which is just a staple in everyone's wardrobe i think i picked this one up and i found this corduroy blazer which i think is really cute i've been into like the sophisticated look lately and was drawn to it for some reason okay then i hit the men's long sleeves and i found so many of these like skater style sweaters i used to wear these all the time but they're actually high key very comfortable and like they're basically like a sweater i don't know i like big clothing so I just picked up a bunch of these because they're also pretty cheap, like, way cheaper than, like, I don't know, whatever. You get what I'm trying to say. But they're also, like, really large. Most of them are, like, larges. I found this really cute Argyle green and brown little Cardi. Um, also, Argyle, who remembers Argyle cardigans being everything? This knit one with this, like, cable knit. It was, like, a thicker material. Also very cute. This one, I don't really know what I was envisioning, <laughs> but, oh, it was definitely because of the rose at the back, but she's not it. You got a big ass mood, girl, you need help. All these followers, but you ain't even leading yourself. So you be getting high, bang on my line, wasting all of my time. I guess I'll find every reason why I should make you cry. The liquid out your eyes rolls right down to the source of your so then i tried on some of the jackets i started off with this leather one and i realized in this moment i don't have a perfect fitting like black leather jacket and this one fits pretty darn good and i like how i can layer under it i have a brown leather jacket like that but not a black one and then this white leather one i just had been looking for something like this i thought it was so cool and unique so i just had to get it even though there was a little stain on it if i'm being honest i don't think i wore it this year but i don't regret it and i think it's fire 
this was cute too i think the shoulder pads were a little too big like in, in general was just like too big um but it was cute and i liked the look and then after that this puffer again really cute i think i actually ended up getting this but i kind of regret it because i never wore it but i like the oversized puffer look and it was in pretty good condition for like a white puffer jacket and it was like vintage champion i think yeah there's the tag right there it's a vibe honestly i should pull that up start wearing it again all right and this was the aftermath i don't think i got everything in this cart there's no way or maybe i did i don't even remember but anyway this is me checking out we love a self-checkout Cali Village is doing it right, except for their prices have really gone up, and that's really unfortunate. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and my voiceover. I'm not really sure because this was filmed so long ago, and I'm voicing it over right now, so it might be a little confusing. Anyway, let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys. Oh, oh, oh. You're